With Intel's 22 nanometer FinFET devices, the industry brought transistors out of the planar format and into the third dimension. Wrapping the gate around the fins allows us for control on the channel on three sides, providing lower gate delay and reduced voltage leakage over the 32 nanometer predecessors. Intel refers to the processor that implements these transistors as the Ivy Bridge. This is another innovation helping to maintain the semiconductor industry on Moore's Law. To begin fabrication, we start with shallow trench isolation, shown here in the NMOS region. We grow silicon germanium regions on top of the fin in the PMOS region. Using LPCVD methods, we place dielectric layers, such as hafnium oxide or silicon oxide, on the fin. We deposit the gate metal and etch it into strips perpendicular to the fins. Typically, we use a silicon nitride dielectric to isolate the fins and the gates. We place the tungsten contacts and vias over both the NMOS and PMOS source, drain, and gate regions. A silicon oxide covers the region and then we etch the various contacts and vias. We deposit a silicon carbon oxygen and hydrogen or psycho hard mask, followed by a low K dielectric insulator. After we etch wire trenches and vias, we use tantalum nitride as a liner before copper is deposited. We then subject the copper to a chemical mechanical polish, or CMP, to planarize the material. We construct each new metal layer with the same method, psycho hard mask, low K dielectric insulation, wire trench etching, dual damascene vias that breach the psycho hard mask to the lower metal layer, tantalum nitride or other linear deposition, copper deposition, and finally the CMP planarization process. Each metal layer or group of metal layers is typically larger than the previous.